Meteorologist Carly Smith and your Storm Team 2 forecast. We are still tracking a few very light pockets of drizzle. Downtown Dayton, one of those pockets. We have mostly cloudy skies across the region. We're now on the backside of this low, which does mean we are eventually going to dry out across the region. But as you can see, this area of low pressure is going to continue to move northeast. But another one is right around the corner and that area of low pressure as it forms is really going to bring a chill to the bones as we look ahead to next week. First for Halloween though, it's not going to be too chilly, so don't get too worried about that forecast. Rainfall potential rather dry for the upcoming week, even though we're going to have a nice low pressure system dig to our south. This one didn't tap into the atmospheric river off the Pacific Ocean. It's more of a continental air that's going to bring into the region. So we've got drier, colder air ahead of us. For now, though, we're on the end of our pretty rainy forecast today. In Dayton, we picked up 12 hundredths of an inch on top of all the rain we have seen for the month. We're well above normal. Similar story for the fall season, and we have finally caught up uh, to where we expect to be for this time of year in terms of our rainfall with 35.18 inches of rain since January. In terms of the last 55 Five hours or so Dayton is over an inch of rain as well as much of the Miami Valley. Pretty much everyone picking up more than an inch. At least the highest amount in each county has uh, made it to an inch of rain. Some of the most rain fell across Bell Center, Cedarville and Wilmington. Also in Wapakoneta. Right now on our Goodwill Auto Auction camera, things are starting to dry out a bit, but we do still have that drizzle here or there. The good news is our dew point is still a ways from that temperature, but the closer those two numbers get, that's when we get the lowering of the cloud base, the chance for some fog and, and some of that drizzle out there. Winds are out of the northwest, 9 miles per hour. That will help prevent that fog from forming. Uh, visibility is 9 miles through downtown Dayton right now. A look at our temperatures across the region. 50 in Troy, 51 in Dayton, 51 in Xenia. Uh, tonight, 48 degrees drizzle with the chance of an isolated shower. Overall, not too bad, though. Looking ahead to Halloween, we've got a spooky forecast for you. Well, it's not that bad, actually. We'll be around 60 degrees for your high, and if you're ready for Halloween, doing the Munster Mash there, uh, normal high is 60. So that's about where we're going to be, normal low 41. It rains 40% of the time. Oh, but we're looking at dry conditions for tomorrow night. 60 degrees, you're high. Temperatures are going to fall overnight into Monday to a low around 38 degrees. So trick-or-treating, those temperatures will begin to fall. We'll be in the 50s, falling to around 49 degrees there between 8 and 9 o'clock. On future track, we do start to see the clouds breaking. Those, those stratus clouds, they're hard to get to break, though. So we'll get a few pockets of sunshine here or there. A very low chance for a shower to sneak in. And uh, it looks like we'll remain mostly dry, though, with clearing skies overnight. That's what's going to allow our temperature to drop heading into Monday. But the clear clearing isn't unfortunately isn't going to last through Monday. We're going to get the cloud coverage back during the day on Monday. So clearing skies overnight Sunday into Monday, 38 your low as you start off your work week. That's what it'll be as you're headed out the door Monday morning. And then we still see mostly cloudy conditions on Monday, Tuesday, your high 49. But look at that Wednesday AM freeze is back. That's likely Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, possibly even Saturday. So those bone chilling temperatures make a return as we head into November.